The Mindful Life Practice. And happy weekend to everyone in the Middle East and everyone in North America. I'm sorry that we have two more days until the weekend. <laughs> um, we're going to make our way on to a, I like to start this class in child's pose. So you're going to come onto your mat on your knees and then sit your hips back and rest your forehead and let your arms be heavy. And then just take a couple deep breaths and settle into stillness. And so this is a deep hip opener. I also find this shape quite grounding and centering. Kind of gives you a moment to like collect your thoughts and collect your energy and and set an intention for this practice. And maybe your intention is, I am strong or I'm committed. I am present, whatever that might be. And then take one more round of breath in your child's pose. And then we're gonna come up into a table and then just move through some cat-cow flows to warm up the spine. So take a breath in, tilt at your pelvis, lift your chin. And then exhale, curl the spine, tuck the chin. This is your cat. So in this class, we're gonna kind of do functional movement um, exercises, working all of the muscles of the body. It can be pretty challenging at times. Um, I want you to have like a skillful intuition about what feels good for you. Know that you can put down your weights at any point. You're not obligated to hold them. Let's bring the spine back into neutral. Now I want you to make a bit of a C curve with your spine. So almost like let your ribs kind of rock out to one side and gaze over the shoulder and then come all the way back through center and C curve the opposite way. So we'll keep going like this. This is like a lateral side bend. It's almost like a dog, like gazing at his tail. And then take one more curve of each. And then come all the way back to center and let's spread through the palms, get really active through the arms, direct your eyes of your elbows out in front of you, if that makes sense. So you're like almost rotating the upper arms in a little bit. So your arms are engaged. And then you're gonna tuck the toes and lift up and back to your first down dog. So here's kind of how the class is gonna go. We're gonna move through some really gentle yoga style warm-ups. And then we're gonna move into our more active yoga class, or sorry, bar class, and then drop into some deep stretching at the end. Okay, bend through the knees, gaze forward, and then just step your feet up to meet your hands. Take a breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then step your toe mounds together, bend through the knees, sit back, find yourself in your strong Utkatasana, your chair. Let's just stay here for four, for three, for two, and then on one, take a breath in, lift your palms up towards the sky, and then exhale your palms into your heart center, thumbs connect to your heartbeat, settle your gaze forward. And then we'll move, inhale, sweep both palms up towards the sky, and then exhale into a fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale your way back down, step your left foot back, and then we'll rock back and forth, kind of getting into the hip crease before you land onto the left knee. And then breathe your palms up towards the sky, find your nice low Andaniasana lunge. There is this tendency in this pose for us to dump our weight forward. I want you to see if you can like knit your rib cage in a little bit. You don't need to be so deep into this back bend. 
take one more breath. And then exhale your palms forward. Keep your left palm on the inside of the mat and inhale your right palm up towards the sky. And then if you want to spiral into a bit of a quad stretch, go ahead. So you're kicking your left heel back, gazing over the right shoulder. Release the foot and then just frame the foot as you walk the palms back and lengthen over the hamstrings. Let's take three rounds of breath, inhale. And then exhale, two more. And then one more. Walk your palms forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then step your right foot back to meet the left. Find yourself in a strong plank. If you want to lower the knees, go ahead. I want you to push the ground away, draw your navel in, stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Let's all land the knees. Slowly lower all the way down, elbows going back. Take your inhale, lift your heart up, gentle back bend. Exhale, lower. And then shift through a table and then bring yourself up to down dog. So we're gonna move the opposite way now. So take your left foot all the way forward. Do a few rocks to get into the hips. Land onto the right knee. Inhale, find your low lunge and try to find that alignment through the spine. You're like knitting the ribs in. Take one more breath. And then exhale it forward. Keep your right palm on the inside of the left foot. Take your left palm up towards the sky. So maybe you deepen into this quad stretch. Stay for three, stay for two, stay for one, and then release the palm and walk the hands back. Lengthening over the leg, give yourself three breaths. Two. And then one. Walk your palms forward. You're gonna tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then step your right foot forward to meet your left. Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, sit back into your chair. So we're gonna do that yoga style warm up one more time, okay? So inhaling, stay as you are. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower. And this time, step your left foot back. So opposite foot goes back first. Give it one, two, and then three little rocks into the hip. And then land onto your left knee, inhaling your palms up overhead. And this time, if you want to integrate a shoulder stretch, you might take your eagle arms, weaving the arms together. Try to soften through the shoulders. Take one more breath. And then unwind the arms. Palms reach up towards the sky. Breath in. And then exhale your palms down. Keep your left palm where it is as you spiral your right palm towards the sky. And then if you want to come into that quad stretch, go ahead. Know that you don't have to. And then we'll release and then walk over that lengthened leg. Three breaths. Two. And then one. Walk your palms back. You're going to tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and step your right foot back to meet your left. Staying here, five, four, three. Two, and then one, we're gonna move through a vinyasa. If you wanna keep your knees lifted, if that's part of your practice, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll all land the knees. We're building tricep strength. Inhaling the heart up. Exhale to lower. And then shift through a table. Back to your down dog, opposite side. So keep your right foot where it is. Step your left foot forward. Give your rocks into your hip. Land onto your right knee. And then inhale your arms up, open, and then this time the eagle arms on the opposite side. So I believe it's left underneath the right. Weave them together. Settle your gaze. Take three, two, and then one. Both palms reach up towards the sky. And then exhale your way forward. Land your right palm. Spiral your left palm up towards the sky. 
Come into your deep quad stretch. And then just release the foot. Start walking back into your hamstring opener, just three breaths. And then we're gonna come all the way back. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Land onto your heel and then just come all the way into center so you're in a little bit of a forward fold. You can grip your palms to opposite elbows, let your head and neck dangle. And if you want to move through a little bit of a twist, your right palm is going to center, your left palm is going to reach up towards this eye. And then you'll twist the opposite way, left palm grounds, right palm lifts up. One more of each. And then land the palm and then twist. Come all the way back. If you have some weights that you're going to use, grab hold of them. And we're going to start to transition into our bar work. So your heels are going to come in, toes are going to come out. You're going to lift all the way up into, this is a goddess squat in yoga. It's called a plie in bar. Okay, we're going to take our arms out towards the side. And we are going to rotate on the toes and curl in and then open, okay? So every week I kind of do the same um, yoga warm up and a really similar bar workup, workout <laughs> warm up. Oh my God, what am I saying? It's the end of the week. Um, I think it's really nice to take like a bit of a familiar flow um, in a class that's so like active and we're moving so quickly can feel good in your body to do something you're familiar with, right? Let's take two more on each side. Last one. Come all the way back through center. Take these weights into your heart center. Forward fold, so the weights go underneath you. And then we're gonna do a bit of a deadlift. So you're lifting the arms up and then lowering. So it's like a deadlift in a fitness class with a little bit of a extra challenge with this squat in our legs. <laughs> oh man, I have heavy weights today. I have two kilograms. Let's see how long I last with these. <laughs> Let's take three more, two, and then one. Come all the way up. Just take your weights into your heart center. Let's do a few twists. So just rotating towards one leg, back through center, rotating the opposite way and then back. Three more on each side. Two. And then one. And then come all the way, just place the weights down onto the mat. Rotate so that you are coming into a plank. All right, from our plank, you can also do this with the knees lowered. From our plank, we're gonna come into those hip twists. So step the right foot forward, Take the right palm up towards the sky, land it back down, step back, opposite side left, twist, lower, step back. Keep moving with this. Now, you don't have to go at the same pace as me. Some of you have been doing bar for a year. Some of you just started a few weeks ago. So you can slow down, you can speed up. One thing you should know about bar is that its original intention was to be like moving to the beat of the music. Um, obviously, I don't have music on Zoom. You're more than welcome to use one of my Spotify playlists or use your own music or just do it in silence, whatever you prefer. Let's take one more of each side. And then come back to center and hold a super strong plank, five, four, three, two. On one, we're gonna rotate to a side plank, taking your right arm all the way up, five, four. You can be on your elbow, three, two, and then one. Rotate the other way, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way back, and then shift your hips up, coming into your bound dog. Let's do a little bit of hip warming up. Just take your right leg up towards the sky, bend the knee. Rotate around and around. 
and then land the right foot back down. Lift your left leg up, do some rotations. Come all the way back, bend through the knees, and then just step the feet up to meet the hands. Let's inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, circle your palms all the way up to stand, and then take your palms into your heart center. Uh, okay, so you're gonna take hold of your weights, and we're gonna start first with your right foot forward, and your left foot is gonna step all the way back, okay? You're gonna have your hands on your hips. If you're feeling wobbly, you can always put down a weight and just hold on to the bar, okay? You can always do the arm exercises on just one arm first, and then switch it up the other way, okay? With our weights in hand, we're just gonna bend and then lengthen the back knee. So we're almost making these two 90 degree angles. We're hovering. We're gonna take three more, two more, and then one more, lower it down. Take your arms into bicep curls now. You're gonna curl and press up. Keep hovering, just moving through the rhythm of eight of these. Six, five, four, three, two, on one, lift up, zip your arms together, bend at the elbows, hover the weights back, so we're doing a little bit of tricep work, and just do little tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the arms up, arm strength, reach the weights apart, so you're just holding them here. Warrior one arms, and now take your weights into heart center, and we're just gonna do a twist towards the standing leg, so spiral towards the right knee. Hold on here, keep the knee bent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one, I have a little challenge for you. See if you can come into a warrior, three, with your weights at heart center. If you need to hold on to a chair or the bar beneath you, go ahead and just find your balance. Pressing down through the right foot, right big toe, take deep breaths. And then tilt all the way up to stand. Your left foot stays, right foot steps all the way back. All right, so we're gonna start with our lowers and then lifts. So move with this rhythm. Four more. Three, two. On one lower, do a bend and then lift. So a bicep curl and a shoulder press. Four more, three more, two, and then one. Lifting both arms up, zip the weights together, bend them back, do your little hovers. Lift the weights up, you can do this. Take your weights into your heart center, twist towards the standing leg, hold it here, keep the bend, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and then one, we're gonna take that challenge. Tilt forward, weights at your heart center. Press through the big toe, find your balance. Take three deep breaths. And then tilt all the way up to stand. Let's inhale with the weights overhead. One more kind of shoulder pressy stretch. And then on your exhale, forward fold, and then just place the weights down. Grip the palms to opposite elbows. Take a few deep breaths. Okay, let's slowly roll up to stand. We are using the chair for my favorite, favorite bar move ever. <laughs> um, if you have a Pilates ball, grab it. If you don't have a Pilates ball, you don't need it. The intention of this ball is just to keep your leg in an engaged hamstring curl, okay? So you can also do it without. You are gonna find your distance from your chair. You're making like an L with the body. And then place the ball between your right thigh and right calf, okay? 
So finding your balance, what I want you to do is curl your right knee in and then open it up to the side. Curl it back in and then lengthen it behind. So this is called a fire hydrant because dogs pee on fire hydrants. <laughs> Except the dogs in Dubai, they're stuck in their apartments. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if we have fire hydrants in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. You might need to explain those ones. Maybe we do. Have to ask you guys after. <laughs> I mean, we must. It's like the thing that stores the fire hose. Let's take one more of each. Oh, I'm losing my ball. And then come all the way back up. Keep that hamstring engaged. Bend through your left knee and then lengthen it up. So you're bending through the standing leg. Four more of these. Three, two, and then one lift up. Do mini pulses. So you're going to lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeezing the balls. You should be seriously feeling this in your left butt cheek right now. Eight lifts. This is gonna lift your butt. <laughs> eight squeezes. Last one, eight lifts. And eight squeezes. Oh, lost my ball. Seven, eight, come all the way back. Oh, so I learned something cool today. My friend Leslie's Instagram. We're gonna take a pigeon seated. So you're gonna come onto the chair cross your left ankle on top of your right thigh, and then just shift your weight forward. So this is gonna be a nice stretch for your right butt cheek. So usually, or sorry, left, right, left. <laughs> um, usually in bar, I will do this stretch with us pulling onto the bar, and I couldn't think of a good way for us to do it with the chair, and then I saw this video and I was like, oh, that's it. Okay, one more breath. And then come all the way up. And then we're gonna take the opposite side, okay? So flip your chair around again. The ball this time is going to go in between your left thigh and calf. Wiggle your way back. And then we'll start first with the fire hydrant. So curl in, open to the side, close, and then lift back. So one of the kind of intentions in our bar practice is that we're working the same muscle group to fatigue. And this is like a strategy often used in like rehabilitation, um, physiotherapy, right? They're trying to build like strength in small targeted areas of the body. So that's why we're doing like a hundred of these lifts in a row. <laughs> Take one more, lift up, and then bend the standing leg and then lengthen. Make sure that you're like just lightly leaning on the chair. Oh my God, I'm losing the ball today. I have this secret theory that when people are losing the ball, they're just like doing it on purpose so they can take a break. I promise you that's not what I'm doing here. <laughs> take three more, two, and then one, come all the way back. Do your little lifts, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, eight squeezes. Eight lifts. Eight squeezes. One more, eight lifts. Eight squeezes. Hold it there, one more breath. And then come all the way up. And we're gonna stretch that out on the opposite side, okay? So sit on your bottom, cross your right ankle, start to shift your weight forward. Let's come all the way back up. Land the foot, just take the ball to the side, and let's move our chair off to the side as well. We're not going to use it for the next little bit. 
You're gonna take your weights back into hand. I've switched to my lighter weights now. <laughs> um, toes out, heels in, bend through the knees and sit back into your goddess spot. All right, so let's start with our arms open and we're gonna take a dual exercise here. It's gonna be a chest press and a shoulder press. So you're gonna take your elbows in, lift them open, and then press them overhead, okay? So chest press and then shoulder press. So what you want here is for your arms to always be in the periphery of your vision. You don't want your elbows to go back behind your shoulders. Keep moving like this. If you want a little bit of extra challenge, you might lift off your heels. Find your balance on your toes. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's take five more. Four more. Three. Two. And one, come all the way back, land your elbows. So your hands are almost like at the height of your elbows now. And you're going to cross the arms and then draw them back and cross the opposite way. This is kind of like a hip hop move. And maybe you're like dancing a little bit, maybe not. Let's just take eight more of these, seven more. Six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Hold the weights out in front of you. Just find stillness. Holding here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Hands on your hips. Lengthen up through your legs. Just turn one foot towards the side. Take your right foot in so it comes horizontal. And then lengthen your body out into a warrior two of your Vidrasana two. So we're standing in this shape, just settling our gaze over the fingertips. And then if you wanna flow through a reverse warrior, we're gonna take the left arm up overhead and then come all the way back into a warrior two. Okay, keep going like this. Just two more of these. And then one more. Come all the way back, lengthen through your left leg. All right, I have a challenge for you. You can either come down into your trikonasana, holding onto your weights, or if you wanna come into a half moon with your weights, you're gonna balance your weight onto your front foot, so that's my left foot here. Right arm is extending. You can hold onto your chair, you can hold onto your table. Take four breaths. And then bend through your left knee, step all the way back, and we're gonna turn the opposite way. Okay, so right knee turns out. Arms find your warrior two. Just stay in stillness for a moment. And then inhale to reverse. And then exhale up to your warrior two. Take three more. Two. And then one more. Coming all the way back, lengthen through your right leg, shift forward, find your trikonasana, and then if you want to shift into your Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon, holding onto your weights, go ahead. Take for five, four, three, two, and then one, come up all the way to stand. Okay, one more thing with our bar. So I'm gonna put both of my weights into one hand. I have three pounders in my hands right now, so they're a little bit light. You can have one weight, you can have no weights. Um, we're going to hold on to the bar, and you're going to walk your body out again, just like we did in the, um, that chair move with the ball, okay? So your weights are in one hand, you're holding on to the bar with the other hand. If you want to lift the opposite leg now, so you're finding a warrior three balance, go ahead, but you can also just have both feet on the mat. Okay, and in that balance, we are going to do some upwards rowing. So drawing the elbow in and then lengthening back. You're bending through the elbow. It's like you're pulling up with a rowing machine, but you're also challenging your balance here.
So we're just gonna take four more of these, three more, two more, and then one more. See if you can just hold the weight up and do eight little pulses. Eight more little pulses, I lied. Okay, balance challenge. Maybe you let go of the bar and you hold the weights in your hand and you extend through the right leg. Give me five, four, three, two, and then one. Come all the way up to stand. Okay, opposite side. So weights are in the left hand. Right hand is on the bar. Walk your way back. And then extend the opposite leg. So try to keep your hips level. And we'll start first with those upward rows. Four more. Three. Two. And then one. Once you have the weight up, let's do those eight little pulses. Eight more. Just looking to see if you guys can see my cat waking up. She's probably going to get involved in a moment. <laughs> Let's see if we can challenge our balance. Weights in hand. Press through the right big toe. Five deep breaths. And then come all the way up to stand. <sighs> okay. Let's take one little vinyasa. I'm going to grab a sip of water. So find yourself in your Tadasana. Inhale, both palms up towards the sky. And then exhale, coming to a full. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale your way back down. Step all the way back. Let's move through one vinyasa. Go all the way up to a down dog. And then we're gonna land onto the knees. <sighs> okay, so. If you want to take one weight in hand, that's a variation on this. You don't have to. We're going to lift the left leg and lift the right arm, okay? Take a breath in, keep everything long, and then exhale, elbow into knee, okay? Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. So this is a few different things. This is some core work. This is some extension. If you have the weight in hand, it's a little bit of arm work too. I want you to try and keep your hips level and a length through your spine and really support your full body weight on the left hand. So don't, don't dump your weight into your wrist. Three, two, and on one, lengthen everything out behind you. Take three deep breaths. And then lower back down. Okay, opposite side. Right palm stays grounded. Walk your way back. Lengthen through the arm, lengthen through the leg. Take a deep breath in, and then start with your curling. I forgot to say, by the way, if your balance feels off, you can always leave the arm and just do the leg. Right, there's a ton of different modifications. Three more. Two, three, on your last one, lengthen everything up, find your balance. Five, four, three, two, and then one, set your weight down, set your knee down, take a breath in, and then take a breath out. One more breath in, and then one more breath out. Okay, I promise we're getting to the yoga soon. We're gonna do a little bit of tricep work. A um, couple of push-ups, a little bit of core, then some good stretching, okay? Take your palms a little bit further forward. So now you're not in a table, you're in a low plank. If you wanna tuck your toes, be my guest. I'm gonna stay on the knees. We're gonna draw the elbows back and then push the ground away. So this is a tricep push-up. We do these like all the time in yoga. Which friends you can see. So the intention with this, the elbows are going back and you're like building tricep strength for chaturangas, for arm balances, like, you know, the cool stuff that we do in power yoga, that all starts with this foundation. So that's why I really like to do tricep push-ups in my classes, because we need to build that strength. 
can't just do an arm balance one day, right? You gotta work towards it. Take one more breath, come up, shift back, take a child's pose, take a rest. We also do chest push-ups in bar. So one more. And then come all the way back. And this time, you can have your hands a little bit wider. Elbows go out and then push the ground away. So these are like the push-ups that you did do in a shape class or a pump class, right? The ones that your PE teacher in high school made you do. The one that that teacher who called me Big Al would make me do. Well, that was kindergarten, so I don't think he did that, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Take three more, two more, one more, and then come all the way back, breath in, child pose, breath out. Last little bit of core, we got this. <sighs> okay, let's come up. We're gonna come onto our bottoms. You're gonna have your hips on the mat, your feet on the mat, and you're gonna kind of roll your back down so your spine is like sort of connecting, but your elbows are still lifted. And now lift your legs up. And we're just going to do some mini little pulses, taking your body forward and back. This is a new Pilates move that I learned. I don't know what it's called. I will find out for you. <laughs> it's definitely not a teaser. I know what that is. I learned this week. Here comes the cat. She wants to be part of the video. <laughs> Let's just take five more, three more. Two more, and then one more. I want you to hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then on one, you're gonna lower. You're gonna interlace the palms behind the skull, lengthen out through the right leg, tap your right elbow to your right knee. Hold for five, four, three, two, and then one, switch the opposite way. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna take four more of each, holding for five, Four, three, two, one, and then crisscrossing. Five, four, three, two, one, three more. Switch. Two more. Switch. Last one. And switch. And then come all the way back through center. Oh, my core is feeling that. <sighs> okay, one more thing. This is yoga. You're gonna take your legs up, plant your palms either underneath your sacrum or just beside it. Now on a breath in, keep your legs up towards the sky. And when you exhale, drop your feet one third. And just hold them here for three, two, and then one, drop them another third. Hold for three, two, one. Last one, drop another third, three, two, and then one. Let's take four more, lifting all the way up. And then bring the legs to hover. Three, two, and then one. Lower. Three, two, and then one. One more lower. Three, two, and then one. Come all the way back up. Okay, two more of these. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, and then take the legs all the way back up. Last one, hover. Three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one. When you get here, can you lift your gaze up and lift, look towards your toes. This is our last little four, I promise, I promise. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Oh, you did it. Take the knees into the chest. Do a little rock from side to side. You made it. Okay, we're gonna move into a, a back bend now. Um, just stretching out the spine. If you want to come into your bridge, press through the feet, lift the hips up. This is a level one back bend. And if you wanna come into your full wheel, if that's part of your yoga practice, I know there's a few of you in here who are working into your wheel, go ahead. Good. 
And then let's slowly just lower. Release your body back down. Take some deep breaths. And then if you have a resistance band or something nearby, um, scarf, anything can really help your foot around. That would be great. You're gonna take your right foot up towards the sky. We're gonna get into a nice little hamstring stretch, okay? So if you don't have anything, you can also just interlace your palms on the back of your thigh or on your calf. And you're gonna extend your left leg long. Okay, just getting into a deep stretch through the back of the right hamstring. One more inhale, one more exhale. And then let's just release the strap and hook it the other way. Lengthening the leg. So now you're on the left foot, your right leg is extended, take deep breaths. Let's release that foot. Take your feet in together. You're gonna to drop the knees in opposite directions, coming into your butterfly, and grip your palms up overhead, gripping opposite elbows. Just taking some full inhales and exhales. Take one more round of breath. And then we're gonna take the knees in together. I want you to just roll over like, almost like a pancake, just like flipping over onto your tummy, okay? And we're gonna take a quad stretch on your belly. So your elbows can be on the mat and you're just gonna take your left palm onto your left foot. You can release your right foot. Oops, put a table back there. And basically you're gonna push your foot down until you're feeling a quad stretch. If this is not working for you, um, if your shoulder's tight, if this doesn't feel good, feel free to take a quad stretch standing. I think you guys all know how to do that. But if you're good here, then we just don't have to get up. And then let's release the foot. And then just quad stretch the opposite way. So we work our quads a lot in bar. Really important that I don't forget this stretch at the end. It can be easy for me to forget. Let's release that foot. And then just roll your body all the way back now so you're on your spine. And two more things. Cross your right ankle onto your left thigh. Flex your right toes. Bringing yourself into your deep Thread the needle. And then release your left foot. Zip your right thigh on top of your left thigh. Open your arms into cactus arms. And then drop your knees over to the left and your gaze is over to the right. So this is called twisted root in yoga. If you can't get the cross quite right, just stack your feet or stack your knees, that's okay. And come all the way back through center. And then we'll take it the opposite way. So left foot crosses, find your stretch. So first it's thread the needle and then it's your twist.
to release that, but if you want to come into that twisted root, go ahead. And just take one more breath. Come all the way back through center. If there are any last yoga poses that you want to do, feel free to do them now. Um, I'm going to invite you to take a little bit of a gentle um, restorative yoga pose. This is called legs up the wall. Um, if you don't have a wall nearby, you can do this just by like coming up to your chair and lifting your legs up. You just want the legs elevated higher than the heart. So the legs can be up on the, um, the seat of the chair like this. If you do have a wall, it can be super nice just to shimmy your hips up. And then lay your feet up and rest your back body. And I'm just gonna go get my sweater. Cold because I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Okay, so let your body just rest into this shape. This pose is called Viparita Karani, or legs up the wall. And this pose helps reverse our blood flow. It's normally so low towards the heels and the legs. And when we take this yoga pose, we counter all of that and we send the blood flow back to the heart and back to the brain. One of my yoga teachers told me like a billion years ago that this pose helps you if you're feeling like a bit of depression, it can help counter that or a bit of anxiety. I don't know how true that is or if maybe it's a placebo effect now, but whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed or down, this is one of my go-to poses and I find it really helps. We're going to take a, a meditation or a shavasana. And if you want to stay with your legs up the wall, feel free. If you do want to come into seated or another pose, feel free to, to move there as well. I'm going to come a little closer to the computer and take seated. So we're going to practice a meditation on the breath today. So in whatever shape you're in, just make sure it's comfortable. The body is relaxed and the spine is lengthened. Wherever your hands are, just rest them. You can either soften your gaze or close the eyes. And try to settle into stillness.
then patiently focus on just creating a steady and an even and a gentle tide of your breath. And as your body becomes still and your mind becomes relaxed, then notice that the breath also becomes relaxed. Just take a few minutes to settle into the stillness of the body and the steadiness of the breath. Try to experience the breath in the body as a gentle rise on an inhale. And the belly button all the way to the throat. And then on your exhale, imagine the breath releasing from the throat all the way to the navel. Just keep the body still and relaxed. patient and attentive as you just observe this almost like a tide rising and falling navel to throat throat to navel it's like the waves of the ocean beating against the shore Right, the breath is moving this way through the organs and the tissues of the body. Can you experience a sense of peace and tranquility as the breath washes through the body? Please let me feel inner peace from the center, at the center of me. Please let me feel inner peace from the center, at the center of me. Please let me feel in peace from the center at the center of me. Please let me feel in peace from the center at the center of me. Just give your fingers and your toes a little wiggle. If you are in seated, stay there. If you're on your spine, just meet us back in our seat. T 
taking your palms together at the center line of your body. Try to experience a lift through your spine. It's like the stem of a flower. Spine supports the skull. And then if you want to join me in sealing with an ohm sound, welcome to inhale, exhale, and then inhale through to make an ohm. Okay, so take a breath in. Take a breath out. And a breath in. Thank you so much for sharing the space and the practice with me this evening or this morning or afternoon, wherever you are. May all beings be happy, may they all be healthy, and may they all be free. And may the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Om Shanti 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 Peace. Namaste. The Mindful Life Practice.